This podcast is brought to you by Mapper Forward's new Patreon community, the Global Coffee Think Tank. Check the show notes or head to patreon.com forward slash Mapper Forward to find out how you can become a member today. Welcome to the Daily Coffee Pro by Map It Forward, friends. I am Lee Safar, the host of the podcast, and I am joined by Todd McCarthy from Supply Coffee in regional New oh. South Wales here in Australia. Todd, let's have a juicy conversation uh, okay. about what the opportunities ahead are for mm-hmm. our industry. What do you think are the opportunities that lie ahead for cafe owners, roasters, employees, go for it. Hmm. Well, I'm lucky enough to to wear all of those hats, mm. uh, and I think the the opportunity that we that we're all looking for now is uh, is opportunity for growth, uh, and trying to sort of balance uh, all of these crazy things that are happening and figure out, yeah, how how do I increase revenue? How do I balance that with keeping all of my customer base happy? Um, so <clears throat> coming from the, from the eyes of a, of a cafe owner, uh, the, the, uh, the happiness of everyone who we welcome into our shops is, uh, is our number one priority. Uh, and if they're always seeing just a, a, a 50 cent increase in this and a 20, uh, 20 cent increase in this, uh, and they think, well, I give and I give and I give and I give and I'm like, well, what am I going to get back? And right. long ha- loyalty programs have been around for donkey's years. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's, I think the opportunity now in being, in sort of creating that platform to give back is ready for a bit of invigoration uh, in uh, knowing what they have been like in the past. Uh, but from a, from a cafe owner, uh, if they're able to create something that uh, a loyalty program that is actually meaningful, and if it has, um, yeah, you you're not just giving something back in, in that is of monetary value, uh, whether that be sort of compiling all of the uh, uh, email addresses so you can send them uh, an email or a message, not to sell anything. But something meaningful to say, hey, I hope you're having a damn good day. You know, just something. <laughs> but you don't usually get that from, and I think that sort of it runs parallel with the the level of service that we that we mm. always uh, are striving for. Uh, but uh, yeah, and that sort of again sort of checks in line with uh, with how they're feeling within themselves, with uh, what their mental health's like. Uh, and yeah, just sort of just letting them know that someone's there, uh, not just to serve you coffee, but hey, we're thinking about you. Uh, and it, yeah, it, it could come across as a bit gimmicky, but yeah, if, if we're able to see an opportunity to be able to provide something and give something back uh, to our, our customer base, then I think it's, um, yeah, it, it's a good step forward. So it sounds like what you're saying is that right now and moving forward, because of the shifts that we've seen over the past couple of years, the customer values being valued. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, and I, I think we sort of may, might have got a little bit lost there. With ordering uh, food ordering apps and with people exactly, stuck at yeah. home. So there's some distance between mm. the cafe and the customer. Exactly, yeah. That was created through the pandemic. Yeah. And through the pandemic, I mean, cafes, especially uh, especially suburban cafes, they just become an epicentre of uh, people coming together in, in whatever fashion they could back then, but they were, they were the spots where people come to connect uh, even on a higher level than what mm-hmm. they normally would if they were able to come in and sit down. Uh, and I saw it myself. I mean, we 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 had to open a, a new takeaway bar to cater for everyone who was coming in. Um, but I mean, that's sort of where that mentality, where, where that thought process come from. It's like, okay, well, sure, I can take fifty cents off your your coffee for you, but is that meaningful? Right. Uh, does that does that let you know that I care that you're here? And I guess it depends on how you fashioned your business. So if you're a 
fast moving takeaway where you don't know the names of any of your customers and your staff Mm. is on high rotation and there is no real connection. Mm. That That 50 cents matters to the person who's coming into that business. It does, yeah. But if you are a bedrock of a community and people really leaned on their cafes during, Mm. let's say, the pandemic just to find a way to safely talk to another human. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and and some that that was the only outlet that they had. And and being able to provide a, a space for people to be able to do that was, it was incredibly empowering. Um, but at the and end of the day, meaningful. I was just the guy. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I was just making their coffee, but it meant, a, I knew that it meant a lot more to them during those periods than, uh, yeah, than it has in the past. So what I'm hearing you say is the opportunities that are presented right now, more so than perhaps before, is to find out what's meaningful to your customer and give it to them so if if let's say experience is something experiences are something that they're looking for lean into that solve Mm -hmm. that problem for them Mm -hmm. Uh, if they're looking for opportunities to connect with other people in the community Mm -hmm. make that the the kind of the the way that you become growth focused yeah as you move forward yeah and there, I'm sure there's a lot of guesswork that goes into it, but knowing uh, is just by asking questions. How um, do you do that? I get a lot of people say to me, how do I find out what my customers want? So I'm fascinated to hear how other people approach that. Yeah, I'm not. Unfortunately, it just comes naturally. So uh, it's, it's difficult. Fortunately, for me to be able fortunately to, not unfortunately. Fortunately. <laughs> but uh, it's unfortunate because I, I, I wouldn't be able to explain it. In, yeah. In, in a, in a great sense, but, um, but conversations, uh, right? Yeah. But op- open-ended, uh, open-ended questions that sort of are, you let, you get them talking about what they want rather than the other way around. So, yeah. um, but yeah, it just sort of, and yeah. And eye contact listening. I mean, all of those things that are plays a huge communication part. skills. After, so yeah. what do you think of the opportunities moving forward after coffee roasters? Uh, new product lines. Uh, oh, tell me maybe, more. Well, maybe just taking a little step away from what we've traditionally done, packaging in a kilo bag or a 250 gram bag. Uh, there are, there's, only, there's still only a very small amount of the market that uh, are producing really good espresso at home. Um, mm. I mean, they're, they're spending ungodly amounts of money on espresso machines that do a, a, an okay job. Uh, but uh, I think what we're what we're all really looking for now is is convenience and uh, and being able to provide a a, a, a coffee solution uh, that is easy to use, tastes great, is more affordable than what the coffee would be than if I was sitting at a cafe, mm. uh, and yeah, and just sort of all if all of those three things can come together, uh, then it's not only going to benefit the consumer. Uh, it opens new product lines and, and new revenue streams for roasters. Uh, and, yeah, I think it's a, a bit of a win-win. And I, I want to add something to that uh, that I just thought of from previous conversations that I've had with Todd in just our life when we have conversations. The opportunity to update your brand and mm. refresh your brand without you having to learn other skills, right? Mm. Like, if you buy your coffee from somebody, there's an opportunity moving forward to perhaps get contract roasting happening mm-hmm. and really refresh your own brand by providing new solutions to customers. Yeah, exactly. And I'm going through exactly that at the moment. So, um, yeah, and you're helping other people, like yeah, ev- eventually we can talk about yeah. that in a in a future episode. But you know, it's these are the opportunities that are ahead, right? Yeah, absolutely, they are. But um, yeah, it's just a there's 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 never been a better time to to recognize those opportunities and and really stick your neck out and go for it. Uh, yeah, because yeah, if uh, if 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 there has ever ever been a time 
to yeah grit your teeth and push forward it's it's right now and and i just want to caution uh the puppies uh that are out there like the the people who are sitting there thinking i just heard todd and lee have this conversation they told me to go take some risks fuck it i'm going to go and take out a second mortgage and i'm going to open a a cafe for my, for the first time that's not what we're talking about uh we just want to say we are not telling you to go and risk everything right now what we're saying is this is a time to push through mm. this is a time to if you've got ideas find a way to do it responsibly don't mortgage your parents house so that you can figure out whether you should buy a drip coffee machine or not um find out if there's a market do it responsibly um but there is a lot of opportunity moving forward if you can think outside of the box so taking risks with ideas but don't just leap off a cliff without knowing how steep the cliff is like do your due diligence do your research Mm-hmm. find a mentor, find a consultant, do all this kind of stuff. There is so many opportunities coming up and it's a very, very exciting time uh, if you are able to think outside the box like someone like Todd. Who, it, like, go follow Todd on social media. Uh, we'll have all the links in the show notes for Supply Coffee uh, so that you can see, like, how beautiful everything they're doing is but also how they're adapting to the current times. Perfect. Um, if somebody, just for those who are listening, tell people how they can get in contact with you through social media. What's this, what's the Instagram handle? Uh, supply.coffee is, uh, uh-huh. is one of them. Uh, and website, yeah, uh, website, www.supplycoffee.co. C-O. Perfect. This has been a pleasure as always to talk to you, sir. It has indeed. This was fantastic. Um, and, We'll see you again on the podcast. This was your first time and you did it was, fucking yeah, great. Freshie. <laughs> you're Thank a freshie. You. So uh, when your future business ventures do actually start taking off, we're going to have you back on the podcast so that you can talk about some of the cool shit that you've got going Amazing. on. Amazing. I'll be really um, ready to share some more. Perfect. Thanks for all your wisdom. I really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Peace, love, and peanut butter, everybody. Have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks friends. If you enjoyed this video, here's what you should check out next. Consider supporting Mapper Forward on Patreon and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell before you leave.